On this episode of Backyard Fitness and Stuff, we're going to show you how to prevent this. Uh, 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 you dead now. You fucking dead. <laughs> Taking the weight and throwing them over me. Oh, it is. Uh, and and live, live. And live. <laughs> So TJ wishes that I inform you that if you already use these techniques, there's not 100% certainty that they're all going to work, and there's more complexity to them than what we're just showing you in this short video. So just a disclaimer. Okay, so basically we're going to cover the main angle of attack, which is straight into your opponent. And this is kind of common in most knife stabbings or cuttings is because what happens is the person will pull it from their pocket keeping it concealed because the knife doesn't supposed to be seen, it's supposed to be felt. And what happens here is the guy will pull it out and grab the guy and come in real fast. Mm -hmm. Or he'll be at a far and he'll be like, what's up man, and he'll just stab the dude and kind of walk away. Well in these instances, this is kind of like how your, your cuts and stabs start out. This is just one angle of attack and we'll, we're going to basically be breaking down how to defend against this and what is your best options. Mm -hmm. Basically, in the first speed of attack, if I do or I can notify the weapon and I'm standing against my opponent and he goes to attack me and I can meet that knife as it's coming in with both hands, obviously, I gotta meet it with both. I can't meet it with one. People will say, oh, you can defeat one, punch him in the face. Yeah, sure, if you wanna get stabbed. If you want some realism when it's coming to knife stabbing and he's giving me that angle and I'm coming in here and I can get that. Yes, once I get this lock on, and I can separate when he goes to push against me and give me everything you got. Come on, stab me, stab me. He's not gonna get it. Even if he's stronger than me, I will be able, when he's pushing that power in with that knife, I can be able to take that from a situation and when I get smothered like this, I can also get it where I want it. If I'm taking him down, however I'm taking it's fine, as long as I'm getting him in a situation that's cutting him and not me. So option number two, this is actually something that happened a lot in World War II, was the overhand knife attack. And uh, we're basically going to break this down. Yes, there's a lot of other things that go into this, but it's basically just going to be very straight and simple. He's going to come with an overhead attack. I'm going to defend that and immediately come in. Once I make this block, I have to immediately come to the arm break. Right here, I can break his arm, or I can go with him to the ground. And right here, I can start working for the knife, taking it away or break his wrist, whichever one he wants to lose first. Mm -hmm. Just break it and walk away. Just break it and walk away. Option number three, it is a two-parter. Explain. So basically for this one, it's, it's, it's very critical to actually pay attention to what's going on and, and also have some realism in this situation. You always want to be running away from this, but if you can't and the guy is going for this, the, one of the third most common ways is a slash straight across from the middle line which is the gut area. It will not kill you instantly, but you will die all the time you bleed out. So basically what's gonna happen here is he's gonna slice across, I'm gonna be backing up and coming into this. Mm -hmm. Once I come into this, and the blade is basically pointing this way, I wanna basically come up in here and smother this and take him to the ground. Once I take him to the ground, I wanna put my weight on him to an extent, but I'm also focused a lot of pressure onto this wrist and his elbow. Hopefully in this situation when I have him down here I can get help. If not, I'm looking to control this wrist and the knife and be able to get that away. Either use it to my advantage or back up. Option part B. Part B. The reason we added part B here is because the, the common human will have the sense to actually come back on the swing with this one. So if he does miss me on the first time, he's gonna come back with the blade pointing towards me this way. Once the blade's here, I have to play to his elbow. His elbow last time was pointing down. This time it's pointing up. Since it's pointing up, I gotta basically make his elbow point to ceiling. Once I do that, I'm taking my force, pushing it forward, rolling this, taking his elbow to the ground. Once I'm here, I work on his shoulder. He either loses his shoulder or his wrist. At this situation, hey, try to get up. I just case to go for his wrist, I got the knife. All right, and that's just that three wide. ways. <laughs> huh? That was very wide <laughs> Well, we hope that was informative and uh, appreciate you for watching. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you got any questions because that's just a teensy little bite. There, You just go ahead and comment and TJ is going to be quick to let you know what's up. So, until next time, peace out, y'all. Uh, backyard finish and stuff.